Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Top 10 Tunes where we count down the top 10 cartoons of variety of subjects involving all your favorite cartoons. New, old, it doesn't matter. Welcome to the one year anniversary special here on Top 10 Tunes. Thank you all for watching for a year now. It's been great being able to share the best of the best cartoon moments, songs, and characters with all of you for a year now. I can't thank you enough. Top 10 Tunes is for all of you here watching and supporting the show. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Now, to celebrate the one year anniversary, I will count down my 10 most favorite cartoons of all time. Now these are not the best cartoons out there, but they are my personal favorite. Also, I want to say that there are tons of amazing cartoons that I have yet to see. So if you don't see some of your favorite cartoons on the list, don't worry. I'm just here to share with you all my favorites and hopefully inspire you all to watch these cartoons and hopefully add to your favorite list as well. So now let the show begin! Number 10 Starting off the list is one of the most unique yet oddly fun cartoons out there. Cat Dog is a show that aired on Nickelodeon in the 90s. It stars a strange half dog half cat creature. The cat is self absorbed but intelligent, while the dog is dim witted but fun loving. The show came out during the peak of the Nicktoons and it is a prime example of what Nickelodeon was known for at the time. Having crazy out of the box cartoons. And I loved it. All the adventures that the brothers go through are all incredibly fun to watch. The chemistry between the two is spot on. You can't help but fall in love with the characters and all the zany antics that they go through. Whether it's having an obsession collecting the toy line or a grand adventure in search of their parents, Cat Dog never had a boring moment. If you're interested, you can pick up the complete series on DVD for only $20. Now that is money well spent. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. Number 9 Out of all the animes out there, none has had a bigger impact in the world than Dragon Ball Z. No one can argue about the success and the huge fanbase it has created. Sure, Dragon Ball came before it, but Dragon Ball Z took the show to a whole new level and beyond. This show has been a part of my life since I was a small child and continues to provide me with entertainment today as we move on to Dragon Ball Super. Goku and his friends were like heroes to kids growing up as everyone wanted to become a Super Saiyan themselves. The action is some of the best in anime and the characters, both good guys and bad, were all amazing. The series always managed to step it up every season with stronger and stronger villains and obstacles to overcome. Every moment of the show was memorable. It has become a staple in the lives of so many people in the world, including myself. Dragon Ball Z is the most popular anime in existence for a reason. It's just that good. Number 8 Out of all the cartoons I've seen in my life, none has made me so proud to be a kid as Kids Next Door did. Kids Next Door is a cartoon that aired in the early 2000s on Cartoon Network and boy did this show deliver. The show started off simple. A small group of kids would fight adult tyranny from their gigantic treehouse using their creative 2x4 technology. But the show really took off as soon as it expanded to reveal that the original Kids Next Door are actually a part of a huge organization that includes kids from all over the world. The adventures that the KMD went on after that were all grand and awe-inspiring. Seeing as kids from every part of the world band together to fight adults made us all want to be a part of the organization as well. This show holds a special place in my heart for making my childhood all the more special by making me feel as if I was part of something bigger. It's a feeling that I'm sure many kids felt by watching the show and it's something I will never forget. Number 7 Now this next one is the newest show on the list, but it quickly became one of my favorite cartoons. All Hail King Julian is a Netflix exclusive cartoon produced by the same people who made the Madagascar movies. 
It stars King Julian, an egotistical party-loving lemur, and his kingdom of the lemurs of Madagascar. There are a ton of great characters in this show, and that's what makes it so wonderful. There are many lemurs in the kingdom who are each given personalities, which makes the kingdom as a whole feel more alive and less generic than just lemur followers. My personal favorite character is Clover, the danger-loving, slightly crazy lemur leader of the royal guard and personal bodyguard to the king. She's just so happy about her role in the kingdom. It's infectious as you can feel the excitement emanating from her. The show has a strong hint of classic cartoon humor and writing that I truly love. He's got a knife! <laughs> It's a shame that many cartoons these days have lost that feeling that classic cartoons had. But All Hail King Julian shows that it's not dead yet and it can still be as great as ever. The show as a whole is extremely entertaining, especially season 2. I highly recommend the show. If you have Netflix, go and watch it now. Or after this video is done. Yeah, probably the latter. Number 6 This anime is one of the best animes that I've ever seen. Full Metal Alchemist is an anime about two brothers who failed to bring back their mother using a forbidden alchemy and as a result, one brother, Edward, lost his arm and leg while the other brother, Alphonse, lost his entire body and has his spirit infused into a suit of armor. Now there are two Full Metal Alchemist animes out there. The original and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I have decided to include both on this list as each were amazing in their own separate ways. Brotherhood came out years after the original and retold the story to more closely follow the manga. However, because the original started off exactly the same way, Brotherhood quickly skimmed over many parts of the beginning of the anime, and I personally feel that it cheated the audience of all the story from the start. While on the other hand, the original story later deviated from its source material and the story that Brotherhood told is much stronger than that of the original. So here's how I recommend watching the series. I would suggest for new viewers to watch the original to around episode 30. Then from there, switch to Brotherhood starting on episode 13. That way you can experience the complete plot of the first half of Full Metal Alchemist to its fullest instead of the summarized version in Brotherhood before moving on to the full story. Anyways, although there are some flaws with the layout of these animes, one thing is for sure, it is incredibly entertaining. The action, comedy, and drama are all well done and even won the spot of the saddest moment in cartoon history on a previous episode of Top 10 Toons. It's a series I would highly recommend watching if you get the chance. Number 5 Fun fact, I'm a huge fan of the Looney Tunes. In fact, their style of humor and animation is what most inspires me in my job as an animator. Their comedy is so funny, whether it's subtle or exaggerated. However, this spot goes to their pint-sized successors, the Tiny Tunes. As much as I love the Looney Tunes, I do get tired of watching their shows after a while since they always follow a set formula and never deviate from it. Tiny Tunes on the other hand brings in the comedic genius of the Looney Tunes and modernized it for the 90s generation. Every episode has a different theme to it, from fantasy to music. The show is broken down to small segments which all follow a story that Buster or Bass Bunny hosts. It keeps the show fresh while still providing us with the zany cartoon antics that the Looney Tunes are known for. It's everything I love about the Looney Tunes but presented in a way that keeps me entertained all throughout the series. It's one of Steven Spielberg's best work as a cartoon producer and is definitely worth a watch, especially if you're a fan of classic cartoon humor. And now our song is done. Number 4 It was a tough choice to choose between all the different Yu-Gi-Oh series, but if I had to choose one that left a bigger impact on me, it had to be the original. Although I prefer GX over the others, the original Yu-Gi-Oh is a show that inspired thousands of nerds like myself to pick up a deck and learn how to play the game even though the first season of the show had no idea how most of the rules worked. However, once you look past the Duelist Kingdom and reach Battle City, that's when the show really starts to kick off. It's hard to imagine how someone can make playing a children's card game so dramatic and intense, but Yu-Gi-Oh pulled it off better than any other show of its kind. When I was a kid and I first saw this show, I just changed the channel. 
but once I gave the show a chance, I instantly became in love with it. It's hard to explain how, but this show really gets me invested in the story and action, even though it's filled with tons of friendship speeches and incoherent rules. But it still keeps me entertained to this day as I still keep my deck by my side. It's one cartoon that has left a lasting impression on me and many others as well. It is definitely one of my most favorite cartoons for all the great times that I had growing up with it over the years. Number 3 Now this cartoon did everything right. Sonic AM brought the world of the Sonic comics to the small screen perfectly. As much as I love the other Sonic cartoon series, none has come close to reaching the perfection of Sonic AM. The show follows the adventures of Sonic and the Freedom Fighters as they combat the tyrannical Dr. Robotnik after he's taken over the entire planet and roboticized its citizens. This show had tons of memorable characters. Bunny Rabot, the spunky western hare. Rotor, the mechanical genius walrus. Antoine, the cowardly French fox. And probably the most popular, Sally Acorn, the intelligent, beautiful chipmunk and Sonic's love interest. Let's not forget the most frightening depiction of Dr. Robotnik ever created. Sonic at AM is one of the best cartoons out there, in my opinion. It has everything you can want from a cartoon. Action, adventure, romance, drama, comedy, mystery, suspense, everything. This show is just fantastic in every way. The reason I didn't put it higher on the list is because this show ended very quickly as it was cancelled only after two seasons. But boy were those two seasons amazing. It's one of the cartoons I most frequently recommend to others. It's an incredible show that any Toon fan should see. Number 2 Next up on the list is my most favorite Nicktoon of all time, The Angry Beavers. The Angry Beavers is a cartoon from the 90s about two beaver brothers and all the crazy adventures that they go through. Daga has become one of my most favorite cartoon characters because of his comedic antics and fun to watch personality. While Norbert is the cool cat of the family, Daggett is a misfit who always gets into trouble with his loud mouth and energetic attitude. The brothers went on many great adventures in their 62 episode run. The two always made every moment a joy to watch. The chemistry between the two is perfect as they always bump heads as brothers usually do. The duo has brought me laughing to tears on more than one occasion. They have a hint of classic humor that I love so much, but also filled with a classic Nickelodeon vibe and insanity. It's the best of both worlds. I can never get tired of watching it. I highly recommend you pick it up for yourselves and take a look. The complete series can be found on DVD for only $20. You won't be disappointed. Number one. Now you guys know me. I'm not much of an anime guy. So it must come as a great surprise to all of you to learn that my most favorite cartoon is an anime. But it's just so damn good that I can't help myself. I love it so much that I also picked up the novels and manga as well. Slayers is an anime about a powerful sorceress named Lena Inverse and her bubbling sidekick master swordsman Gowry Gabriev. Later in the series, more colorful characters join in including my favorite, the elusive and mysterious Rezo. The show has a strong Dungeons and Dragons feel to it, and although I've never played the games myself, I adore the atmosphere and story. The action in Slayers is some of the best as there is always a foe or imminent threat that the heroes must face. The villains are some of the biggest and baddest that I've ever seen, and it makes the suspense in the show all the more powerful. The magic in the universe is always impressive, as we never know what we'll see next. The humor is very unique and has a strong Japanese feel to it at times. The comedy is not for everyone though, and is rather out there, but it still does not distract from the strong mood of the story and action. This show has inspired me more than any other, even Looney Tunes. While the humor is not very good, the story is just so powerful and investing that I couldn't help but be moved by every moment of it from the bottom of my heart. It has become the biggest inspiration to my webcomic and future cartoon series. 
This show pulled out the hidden cartoonist in me and has inspired me beyond all else to pursue my dreams in animation and cartoons. Slayers is that powerful. There's not a doubt in my mind that Slayers is, and forever will be, my most favorite cartoon of all time. And there you have it, my top 10 favorite cartoons. I hope you enjoyed the list and the sneak peek into the man behind the tune. Thank you all for watching and if you have a chance, please check out these amazing cartoons and share with us in the comments below what your favorite cartoons are. I'd love to hear what other great cartoons are out there. But for now, it's time for... <coughs> Last episode, we asked you to vote for which Cuckoo Crusader you liked best. The Mask or Freakazoid? Now for the results. Smoky. The winner is... We were just wondering. Who's your favorite? A draw! Both The Mask and Freakazoid had the same number of votes. Now for the next... Toon Tally. Heroes Unite! Which superhero cartoon studio do you like best? Marvel? Or DC? Now these are not about the movies or the comics, but of the cartoon series. So vote on which one you prefer and come back next episode to see which heroes hold up and which ones fall. Thanks for watching everyone and thank you all for all the support over the year. There are plenty more episodes to come including next week's episode, Top 10 Sexiest Female Cartoons. This one was hinted at in one of the first episodes and now it's time to bring it out. So come back next week to see which saucy ladies make it in and be sure to leave a comment below on who you would like to see on the list. Also, be sure to subscribe to catch the next episode as soon as it goes live. Thank you all so much for watching, here's to another year of Top 10 Tunes! There's no case too big, no case too small When you need help, just call ch 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 Rescue Ranger ch 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 With a danger Welcome back to Winter Snaps, while the plate and plates